A city of Austin spokesperson says they aren't surprised that Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton's office filed an interlocutory appeal today trying to stifle the production of Project Connect, saying the project still plans to move forward. We were ready for this trial too. Austin Transit Partnership Executive Director Greg Cannelly says the move by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton to file an interlocutory appeal in order to put a hold on the legal proceedings in the Project Connect plan proves one thing. The vocal opponents to transit were not ready today. Um, and the reason they're not is because they know uh, that this is a delay tactic and that the law is not on their side and on their, on their position. The city of Austin and ATP and attorneys representing a group of citizens suing the city were set to meet in court today where a judge was to rule on voter approved bonds for the project. But Paxton is interjecting as a third party, calling into question the legality of Project Connect and questioning whether the financing plan proposed and voted on by Austinites is allowed under state law. It is time if there's any leaders left in the city of Austin's government for them to recognize that the current plan for Project Connect is doomed one way or the other. Under Project Connect, the city's maintenance and operations property tax rate would increase by more than 20 percent as a light rail development system served as the main dish of the project. It's important to remember at the ballot box, at the ballot box, they overwhelmingly approved the use of their local tax dollars to invest in Austin and this community. Bill Elshire, who represents a group of citizens, however, argues that the city of Austin and its partners were not being transparent about the costs of this project. Voters were not given an honest price. They were not given an honest deal. And it's time to rethink. Project Connect will continue to move forward despite the challenge in court. An attorney for the group suing the city tells us, quote, Project Connect can continue to move forward in its planning stage for now, but it cannot sell its proposed $150 million in so-called bonds unless this litigation is ultimately resolved in ATP's and the city's favor. Nancy Crowther, who supports Project Connect, however, says she's been waiting on the rail for 40 years. There's no more time to think. It's time to act. I would like to see the taxpayers get their money's worth that they voted for. Transit Forward, a group in favor of this project, says they stand behind the city of Austin and Austin Transit Partnership in trying to resolve these delays quickly. Reporting in Austin, Jamal Kennedy, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.